In this example we will demonstrate load flow calculations in an MV distribution network. Activate the MV load flow study case. For this demonstration, the geographic map has been deactivated. To run the load flow, select the load flow icon. Ensure that the option automatic tap adjustment of transformers is selected. On the load and generation scaling page ensure that the load and generation scaling factors are both set to 100%. Execute the load flow. Maximize the output window and use this icon to bring up the output of results dialog. Choose the option grid summary. Select execute. Here, you can see a summary of load flow results for each grid. In this network, each grid corresponds to a single substation. Turn off the Maximize Output Window option. In the graphic, the arrows on the lines indicate the direction of power flow. They can be turned off if required, via the Layer Configuration dialog. Now we will color the diagram to look at voltage levels in the network. Select the Diagram Coloring button. Select the checkbox 3. Then select, Results, and, Voltage and Loading. Nodes will be colored according to voltages, and branch elements will be colored according to loading. Select OK. Add a color legend block, and notice the coloring in the diagram. For better visualization, the coloring can be enhanced using the heat map command. Now we will adjust the MV load scaling and examine the effect on the results. Open the load flow command again and change the load and generation scaling page. First, we set up a load scaling of 20%. We execute the load flow now. You can see that the voltage levels in some areas are higher than before. Return to the load flow command and increase the load scaling to 150%. Execute the load flow once more. Here you can see the voltage has dropped significantly. Now, leaving the load scaling at 150%, we will switch off the automatic tap adjustment of transformers. Execute the load flow. It can be seen that the voltage levels are significantly lower without the automatic tapping of transformers to improve the situation. To conclude this demonstration, we will look in detail at a distribution substation object and an MV load. This is the single line diagram of a distribution substation. The medium voltage load is located underneath this results box. Double click on the MV load to bring up its dialog. Notice in the dialog, there is an option to select the type, where the transformer type must be entered, representing the MV to LV transformer. On the load flow page, you have the option to specify the load power and the generation power. You can also specify a particular tap position. And, notice that on the voltage profile optimization page, there is an option to specify the maximal allowable voltage drop and voltage rise in the low voltage grid. These parameters are useful for the voltage optimization distribution network tool.